Hi there, welcome to another Kevy Shaves. Uh, today, something a little bit different again, not a shave video. I'm here in the gentleman's groom room in Dundee, a fantastic little shaving shop. And I'm going to show you around and I just want to thank uh, the proprietor here, the guy that runs things, Ian Thompson, very knowledgeable chap. Um, just want to thank him for letting me come down after hours and film in this fantastic little shop. So let's go and take a little bit of a look around at some of the products in the store uh, and I'll do a little interview with Ian, uh, ask him some questions and we'll have a little fun. So um, let's take a look around the shop. So I'm here with uh, Ian Thompson. Uh, Ian is the proprietor and owner of this wonderful, wonderful shop here, uh, the Gentleman's Groom Room here in Dundee. Uh, and thanks very much, Ian, firstly, for uh, inviting me in to show everybody 
this wonderful shop. Uh, can you tell us a wee bit about the shop? How long has the shop been open? We've been here 10 years now. Um, uh, we've, I've always been a traditional wet shaver and it was always sort of a dream because it was a bit of a hobby as well, right. traditional wet shaving. So it was always a, a dream of a, a, you know, a traditional shaving style shop. Um, a lot of the products that we've uh, got in the shop, uh, it's not you know, products that you'll find in the, the normal sort of department type stores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a little bit different as well as you know, you know the products. Yeah, well it's a kind of specialist, isn't it? Yeah, yes, it is. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, um, yeah. But it's a, it's a really nice shop. It's, uh, it's not too large, uh, but it's large enough to have enough products um, for, for wet shavers like myself. And uh, it's just, I feel like a, a kid in a, a sweet shop just now. <laughs> it's just uh, wonderful. Thank okay, you. Um, I've got some questions here. Uh, yeah. I've just got them on my phone, um, which I will ask you. Um, what is your best seller in the shop um, at the moment? Product or brand? Uh, brand, let's go for well, brand. Uh, um, they're, 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 it's quite a difficult question, but probably I would say probably the Tailsville Bond Street stuff sells, right, sells okay. quite well. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, that would say probably Taylor's. Good, uh, good, good. Quite nicely. It's a nice price point for, for everyone as well. Yeah, good, good value uh, for money. And a and, fantastic and a quality product. product. Uh, yeah. Uh, quality, yeah. Yeah. Um, another thing, uh, tell us a wee bit about your background, Ian. You said you were a traditional wet shaver. You've been that for a long, long time. Yes. Um, what, what did you do before this? Um, I actually was, I've always been into retail. So, right. uh, as I said, it was a retail shop that I wanted. I do the traditional shaves and stuff downstairs. Right, okay. But first and foremost, it was going to be a retail shop okay. when I opened. Um, my background has always been in retail. Uh, I was actually, uh, believe it or not, a fruit and veg guy. Well, um, I had my own business. Uh, um, I had to run that for about 23 years. Right. Um, so I had a fruit and veg business, done the flowers and uh, stuff like that, you know. Good stuff. So, uh, uh, yeah, so I, it, it was quite a big step for me, coming from an established business mm -hmm. um, to, to something like this. Um, and but with the support of my wife and stuff like that as well, you know, uh, I went for it, and I'm good. glad we did. Good yeah. stuff, good stuff. Um, how do you think the shaving scene has changed in the last few years? Obviously, yeah. there's a there's, there's a big difference. Of wet shaving just now is uh, very popular, as I'm, I'm sure you know. Yeah. Um, these people making YouTube videos and stuff, and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, it has definitely it's definitely increased. Um, I, I think. Probably uh, due to the fact that maybe sort of uh, a lot of new barber shops opening, yeah. uh, you know, doing the, just traditional wet shaves. Right. It's maybe attracted a lot more younger guys to the to the, the industry. Uh -huh. um, so I think I think that's probably helped as well. But yeah, from from when I opened at first right. to now, uh, yeah, it's it's definitely ten uh, years. Uh, you have seen yeah, a yeah, big yeah, difference. Yeah, yeah. and it's definitely improving. And it's it's one of these things that I think. Can only keep going that way, yeah. and and I think it's it's shown with the uh, new products and and the new companies that are making new razors. Yeah, and, you know, so it's shown that there is there is a market there for it. You know, cool, cool. although it's still probably quite niche. Uh -huh. it's still quite uh -huh. niche a bit, yeah, but, uh, yeah, but I think uh, you know all these new companies definitely making a difference. Okay, uh, thanks very much for answering these questions. No Just uh, one last question I've got for you, Ian. Uh, yeah. Who's your favourite YouTube shaver? Uh, Nick Shaves. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> no, of you, of course. <laughs> That's the right answer. Okay, thanks very much, Ian. Okay, I'm just, uh, I'll show you around the rest of the shops. Thank you very much. Thanks, Kevin. <laughs>
Okay, the groom room here in Dundee has some uh, specialist products uh, that I'm going to ask Ian about. And the first one is a razor, uh, and that razor is called the Digress. And um, we have it down here. Uh, I'll give you a close up of it in a minute. Uh, but Ian, could you just tell us a little bit about this Digress razor? Yeah, um, th this one uh, is a Merkur Progress 500. Um, we also do them in the 510. Um, this one uh, is an aluminium. Uh, uh, adjustment knob that's replaced. So the, the progress when it comes in, we break down uh, the plastic knob on the bottom and it's replaced with uh, aluminium, stainless steel uh, or brass right. uh, finish. And I think it just it just finishes the razor uh -huh. nicely. And it's it recalibrated as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's all, they're all it's recalibrated. So that some of the, the, the problems with the, the progress of the little knob that is, uh, doesn't kind of line up. And, yeah, uh, when you close it down, it could set maybe one and a half, two yeah. sometimes, you know, um, when they come in. But this, yeah, they're all, they're all recalibrated and everything. It's a great seller. And it, it does change the dynamics of the razor a bit as well, yeah. you know. Uh -huh. um, with the, way, the aluminium, this one's probably my favourite um, for comfort. Not, not look-wise, uh, I like the, the brass and the stainless yeah. steel, but the aluminium for me, just the, the little difference with the weight in the head, okay. just helps me. I, I like, I like uh, you know, sort of top-heavy yeah. razor, you know. Um, the stainless steel one and the um, brass one are sort of more balanced throughout the whole razor. Right. Where this one's a wee bit more top-heavy, which mm -hmm. I, I kind of like, you know. I can, it does look sure, great, I, You know, you can feel the... Looks the really difference. nice. I know a few people that have, uh, that have bought them from you. Yeah, from yourself yeah, we've, here, yeah. So, we've been um, selling them. Very nice. It's, it's just keeping up with demand, though. That's the only thing. Yeah. You know, um, there's a bit of a backlog and uh -huh. people waiting on them. But uh, all good yeah. things come to those who wait. <laughs> that's exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's the digress. Okay. Another um, product of the gentleman's groom room here in Dundee is uh, shaving soap. They do their own line of shaving soap, which we have down here, and um, some of you may have seen. A recent Kevy Shaves video where I used the Highland Bothy, quite a dark, uh, peaty sort of scent. Um, very nice, great um, soap to use, great uh, protection and a great lather. Um, I really enjoyed it. Uh, but there are some other soaps here um, at the gentleman's groom room. So Ian, are you just going to tell us about them? Um, yeah. This one is the Highland Bothy, uh, which... Uh, you know about, yeah. yeah. Um, the, the other one's Mountain Dew. Which is a juniper uh, based scent. Okay. Um, so, juniper, mixed spices, um, kajiput, um, which is another, sort of like a, like a tea tree. Right. Um, that's quite nice. Nice, uh, yeah. Sort of outdoorsy. Yeah. Uh, piney, in a forest sort of, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which sells really well as well. That one as well, be, uh, you'll notice the logo on the top there. Mm -hmm. um, Trees for Life. All right. Um, we, we have a, a plantation. Uh, Trees for Life are a, are a, a company, that, uh, a charity, that uh, are trying to expand the Caledonian forest. Oh, right. Um, so they've got a stretch of land and there, there's a part of the forest that's still sort of remaining, original forest, and they're trying to link it with, uh, uh, you know, with the, another old part. Of oh, it. good stuff. So they're trying to fill up the whole area to just to restore the Caledonian forest. Right. So 50 pence of that goes to our grove that we've got, uh, the oh, Gentleman's Green Room Grove. So you can actually go on to Trees for Life, and if you wanted to donate uh, to that charity, right. uh, to our grove, uh, it's the Gentleman's Groom Room Grove for Very Trees good. for Life. Very good. So we give 50 pence uh, off every sale of that to Very that nice. Charity. Well done. Good yeah, on you. That, thank you. Uh, okay, the next one is uh, Scottish Heather, which kind of speaks for itself, I would think. It's, uh, yeah, yeah kind of, yeah, it smells like moorland, <laughs> for those of you not Scottish. It smells. Uh, it smells like, like where you would go to shoot grouse. You would just say that, Ian. Can yes, yeah, 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 definitely. What, uh, what we did with that one was that um, heather can be quite a floral sort of scent. Yeah. So we've underscored it with a little patchouli just to take the uh, he the, the floral edge off yeah, it. Yeah, I can smell that just it, at the base. It, it's, it's nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice soap. So that's uh, Scottish heather. The next one we have here is. Uh, this is a very popular one, I think, Sweet Gale, and I think the Suffolk Shaver has um, shaved with this one. Oh no, it wasn't, I, I think I, I bought him one for his birthday, I think it was the, the next yeah, one that we're going to show. Him. Martin, yeah. But um, yeah, that's quite a sweet, that must, does that smell like honey or something, Ian, is it? There's, there's honey in all, there's natural honey in all the products. Yeah. All, all, of, all the scents. This one, uh, the, the, what you're smelling there, a lot of people say it smells a little like cola. It does actually, cola, yeah. Yeah. 
Right. What you'll actually smell in there is that it's just the natural bog, bog myrtle oil. Right. So bog myrtle oil is, is what's predominantly the scent in that. Right. Um, bog myrtle is a, a plant that will grow in sort of um, beside marshy ground and stuff like right. that. A lot of fishermen will use it. They'll, they'll, they'll break a, a, snip, a snip off of it, put it in their cap, and it keeps the midges away. All oh, right, you it know, stops them getting bitten to Yeah, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's uh, got very, very similar uh, properties to tea tree oil. Right. It's okay. like a, a Scottish tea tree, if you like. Right, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's uh, Sweet Gale. And this last one we have here is the, uh, this is the one I gifted the Suffolk Shaver. This is Malt and Myrtle. Uh, tell us a wee bit about this one, Ian. Well, this one is, um, when we were developing, developing the scents of the soap, um, this one was one of the ones that we didn't go with. Right. We ended up going to release it, to begin with, with the Sweet Girl. Okay. I love the scent of this one. The only difference between this one is the cedar wood in the Sweet Girl and rosemary in the malt and myrtle. Right. So I, I kept thinking about this one with the rosemary in it. Um, so rather than you know have it all the time because it is quite similar to the sweet gale, yeah. we made it a limited edition. So it's only made from I think November right through to December, right. um, to the end of first of December. Uh, but we always get it in big stock, so we, we do carry it. Uh -huh. But you know, come July or so, it, it may be gone and right, it won't okay. be made again then into the the following the well, November and that one. So uh, this is so a it's a limited limit. edition. Yeah, yeah it's, it's only nice. on a run. The, nice. the reason we did that was because of the sweet gear. Okay. The sweet gear, we went with that one to begin with. Okay, and uh, again, some of you guys will have seen me uh, using a, a badger brush in some of my videos, um, a little honeybee one. And uh, I've been pronouncing it Celian. Hands up, I've been getting it wrong every time. Ian has uh, told me how it should be pronounced, and it should be pronounced Shellen. Shellen. That's how you pronounce it. That's a proper Gallic way to say it. <laughs> and uh, here's the brush here. Uh, and I'll give you guys a close-up of it just uh, in a wee while. But um, tell us about this. There's only 50 of these made. Yeah, right? we, we went to Shave Mark. They're Shave Mark brushes. So we went to Shave Mark. And uh, I've always been an admirer of the BI shape. Yes. It's such a traditional shape know, for, for shaving, you know. Um, so the beehive shape and, again, the, honey, the butterscotch colour uh, is, is quite... An iconic colour, yeah. um, you know, from back in the day. A lot of shaving brushes were in this butterscotch colour. So combining the butterscotch with the BI shape, mm -hmm. I thought we'll go for that. Uh -huh. So we did, we did 50. This was this is in the finest badger, yeah. badger here. So it's a, it's a cracking yeah. brush. It is, it's a yeah. fantastic brush to use. Uh, I really enjoy using it from time to time. But yeah, uh, yeah it is. And I have number, is it 33 I think? 33. I, have well, I, I have 50. I yeah, have Ian 50. has number 50. Um, he is the last another one. good customer of mine's, um, uh, I'd ordered, pre ordered it before they arrived. Uh, I don't know if you know Sh uh, Shavy Davy. Oh, yeah, on, Shavy Davy on, uh, Instagram, on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, um, I, I, he, got, he got number one. Oh, very so good. So I, I took number 50. Okay. So there's some uh, new Shave Mac brushes just came in uh, very recently into the, the, the store here, is that right? Yes, it's uh, today actually. Just today, right, okay, yeah, so this is uh, hot off the press, you guys are going to see them first. Uh, can you show us some of them just down here, Ian? Yeah, well, the, this this one is not, I mean, we've, we've carried the uh, Americana for a little while. Right, okay. It's a DO1, uh, which is a shave mark number, DO1 silver tip brush. Uh, it's a fantastic brush, and you can feel the backbone in that. Oh, it does. It's really, really, really good brush. Yep. So we've, we've carried that one for a little while. Um, and the other one... We've got is a slightly bigger knot uh, to this one than that Can you one. Show that. Yeah, and this is a, a, a two-band silver tip. Uh, that's a deal one silver tip. That's a deal one two-band silver tip. Um, so you can see it's slightly different. You can even see the color difference as well. Yeah. You know, uh, again, slightly bigger, uh, wider knot, and uh, again, just packed with good quality here. Yeah. Fantastic. Really, really soft. As and well. What would you say this one's called? A like Germania. Yeah, that, I'd go I would for say that. It yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Germany. Okay. Uh, any more came in? Yes, there is. There's another couple. So again, the, the, these these two that I'm going to speak about now, um, this one and the other one, uh, these were made to our spec. So right, okay. they were made by Shade Mark to our spec. Um, so this one we've named the Brock. So 
quite similar to the shelling one. Yeah. Uh, we've taken a Gaelic name, so the Brock is Gaelic for badger. Okay. Uh, so, obviously, that being a, a, a badger, we've called it uh, under the Gaelic name for badger. We thought we'll make we'll, we'll do black and white number on it. Yeah, know? that's so, cool. Uh, so again, that's a that's a silver tip. Uh, uh, very nice. It's, uh, it looks very traditional. It does. It, it's old quite school. A, yeah, that, yeah that, that's very nice. What, Even the what attracted me to it as well, you know, is, is the colour. I think when I first seen this brush, I mentioned it to you and I said, that knot looks like the knot that um, my dad used to have in uh, his brush yeah. when I was a kid. Well, that, that, that's, a, that's a, a bulb shaped knot. A yeah. lot of the British manufacturers, you know, I do the fan type, type yeah. knots. Mm -hmm. these, all, all these brushes that I've showed you there are all. Bulb shape. Right, right, okay. Yeah. Okay, and the final one? The final one this is... This is a bit special, isn't yeah, it? Well, this one isn't a bulb shape, no. <laughs> no. This one is different. This is a flat topped one. So we're going to call it the flat top. As in the air cut, maybe. Okay. <laughs> it's like somebody's just taken a... Yeah. <laughs> that of looks amazing. Double. That looks like so, a, someone from Back to the Future yeah. shave of that. So that's a, a, that's a flat top knot. It's shave mark when we, we got... Um, we did it in uh, the jade colour yeah. that, that shave mark do. Which is a lovely, uh, really stunning jade. Uh, there's got little hints of brown through the. Yeah, it's very nice. Again, I'll sh I'll give you a close up of this, um, and maybe cut to these shots so uh, you can you can take a good look at them. But it's yeah, beautiful. Again, that's a silver tip very so. very different looking, but yeah. I look, it's very that, that, soft. That, that, the hair that's in that um, is, is one of the, the stiffer hairs. Yeah. Uh, compared to these ones, um, but because it's a flat top, uh, you know. We, we, we put a sort of stuffer here, that, uh -huh. you know, that's uh, it does. very nice. Okay, very nice, yeah. very, very nice. Thank so you. that's um, some of the products that you can uh, get here. That's uh, th These are all exclusive to the, the gentleman's groom room here in Dundee, right Ian, is that yes, right? Yes, it is, yeah. Uh, so just some well, of them. These two, these two are available from Shave Mark. All right, okay, sorry. Uh, you can buy these direct from Shave Mark. Right, okay. Um, the, the other ones... This one's exclusive to the shop. Yep. Uh, for number uh, one to fifty. Yep. These ones, uh, as they were made to our spec. Right. Um, so these were designed for us. You know, yeah. They've, they've, they've done so it. So they are kind they, of that combination. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, that combination is is ours. Very nice. But, yeah. Okay. So uh, what I'll do now is um, I'll show you some of these brushes uh, and razors and uh, soaps. I'll give you a close up of them and. Um, once again, Ian, thank you very, very yeah. much for showing us all these uh, no fantastic products. From the talk, have you? And, uh, uh, time? Yeah.
is uh, some quick fire questions for Ian Thompson at the groom room here, and he's just going to answer them straight away, uh, hopefully. I'm dreading this. Okay. Ian. Yes. Straight or DE? D. DE or single edge? D. Soap or cream? Cream. Merker Future or Mueller R41? Merker Digress. <laughs> Bam or Splash? Bam. Scents, tobacco or leather? Both. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like probably leather, we'll go for that. Uh, badger or boar? Badger, all the way. Bowl lather or face lather? Both, but we'll go face lather. Uh, DE89 or 34C? Oh, it's a close call, and I've watched the video, but I'm going to go for 34. Gillette Fat Boy or Gillette Slim? Slim. Pre-shave or no pre-shave? No pre-shave for me, personally. Thank you. Okay. <laughs>